Praise God, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we are gathered here although apart, physically bound together by our faith and by the love of our Heavenly Father. It is a privilege and a joy to stand before you today, sharing in the fellowship of believers and lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Today's sermon is titled, The Greatest Love Story. As we come together, let us fix our hearts on one of the most profound and cherished verses in all of Scripture, John 3, 16. This single verse encapsulates the heart of the gospel and the very essence of God's immense love for each and every one of us. It is a verse that many of us learned as children, a verse that has comforted us in times of trouble, and a verse that continues to transform lives around the world. John 3.16 declares, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. These words are not mere ink on paper. They are the living, breathing word of God, speaking directly to our hearts. Today, as we delve into this profound truth together, let us open our hearts wide to receive the message that God has for each of us. Let us set aside any distractions, any burdens that we carry, and any worries that weigh upon us. Let us be fully present in this moment, ready to hear from God, ready to be encouraged, and ready to be challenged by His Word. Brothers and sisters, today is a day of reflection, revelation, and renewal. It is a day to remember just how deeply we are loved by our Creator, a day to marvel at the gift of His Son, Jesus Christ, and a day to reaffirm our faith in Him. As we journey through John 3.16, may the Holy Spirit move among us, opening our eyes to see, our ears to hear, and our hearts to understand the boundless love of God. Let us pray together as we begin this journey. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude, ready to receive your word. Speak to us today through this powerful scripture. Help us to grasp the magnitude of your love and the significance of your gift. Transform us by your truth and empower us to live out our faith with boldness and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let us explore together the depths of John 3.16 and let the truth of God's love wash over. U.S. Renew us and inspire us to live fully for Him. 1. God's unfathomable love. For God so loved the world. These simple yet profound words reveal the enormity of God's love for us. It is a love that surpasses our understanding, a love that knows no bounds or limits. When we speak of God's love, we are speaking of an all-encompassing, infinite love that reaches every corner of the earth and every heart within it. This love is not conditional. It is freely given to each and every one of us. It does not matter where we come from, what we have done, or who we are. God loves us deeply and unconditionally. His love is vast, deep, and unfailing. Pause for a moment and consider this truth. The creator of the universe, the one who spoke the stars into existence, loves you personally and intimately. He knows your name, your thoughts, your struggles, and your joys. His love for you is fierce yet tender, powerful yet gentle. The phrase God so loved the world means that His love is universal. It extends to all of humanity, transcending barriers of race, culture, and social status. It is a love that is sacrificial, a love that led God 
to give his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Consider the magnitude of this sacrifice. God did not hold back. He gave his very best for us. He gave his Son to live among us to teach us, to heal us, and ultimately to die for us. This sacrificial love is the greatest demonstration of love the world has ever known. Moreover, God's love is relentless. It pursues us even when we turn away, seeks us out when we are lost, and calls us back when we have strayed. There is no darkness to deep, no distance to great, and no sin to severe for God's love to reach. His love is a light in our darkest moments, a comfort in our deepest sorrows, and a hope in our greatest despair. So, brothers and sisters, let us take this truth to heart. God loves you. He loves you more than you can imagine. His love for you is greater than any love you have ever known or will ever know. It is a love that will never fail you, never abandon you, and never give up on you. It is a love that is always with you, guiding you, protecting you, and holding you close. As we reflect on this unfathomable love, let it fill our hearts with gratitude and awe. Let it inspire you ask to love others with the same kind of love unconditional, sacrificial, and relentless. And let us always remember that no matter what happens in life, we are deeply and profoundly loved by God. May we hold fast to the truth of God's unfathomable love, allowing it to shape our lives and guide our actions to the greatest gift that he gave his only begotten son. Pause and consider the magnitude of this gift out of his infinite love and wisdom. God gave us the most precious gift he could offer his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. This act of giving is not merely a historical event. It is the very cornerstone of our faith and the ultimate expression of God's love for humanity. Imagine the glory of heaven, where Jesus existed in perfect unity with the Father. He was surrounded by the worship of angels, the majesty of his divine nature, and the eternal joy of his heavenly home. Yet, out of love for us, he chose to leave all that behind. He descended from his throne, relinquished his divine privileges to take on human flesh. Jesus entered our world as a humble baby born in a manger, experiencing life as we do. He grew up facing the same challenges, the same temptations, and the same sufferings that we face. He walked among us, teaching us, healing us, and showing us the way to the Father. He didn't just come to visit, he came to live and dwell among us, to be Emmanuel, God with us. Consider the depth of this gift. Jesus experienced our pain and our struggles. He knew hunger and thirst. He felt exhaustion and sorrow. He wept with those who mourned and rejoiced with those who celebrated. He was tempted in every way just as we are, yet he remained without sin. His life was a perfect example of love, humility, and obedience to God. But the greatest part of this gift was yet to come. Jesus ultimately laid down his life for us on the cross. This was not merely a tragic end to a good man's life. It was the fulfillment of God's redemptive plan. Jesus willingly endured the agony of crucifixion, bearing the weight of our sins, taking upon himself the punishment that we deserved. He did this out of his great love for us, so that we might be reconciled to God. 
This is the greatest act of love the world has ever known. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross is the ultimate demonstration of God's love. It declares, I will go to any length to save you. I will endure any pain, any suffering to bring you back to me. It is a love that is willing to give everything, even life itself, for our sake. And the story doesn't end with Jesus' death. On the third day, he rose again, conquering sin and death, and offering us the gift of eternal life. His resurrection is the seal of God's promise, the guarantee that through faith in Jesus, we took and have new life, both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, let us never take this gift for granted. Let us always remember the incredible sacrifice that was made for us. God's gift of His Son is the foundation of our salvation, the reason for our hope, and the source of our joy. As we reflect on this greatest gift, may our hearts overflow with gratitude and praise. May we be inspired to share this gift with others, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ to a world in desperate need of His love. This is the greatest gift, the gift of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Let us receive it with open hearts and live in the light of His love every day. 3. Faith and Belief that whosoever believeth in him. These words extend a powerful invitation to each and every one of us. Believing in Jesus is more than acknowledging his existence or agreeing with his teachings intellectually. It goes deeper. It means placing our complete trust in him, following his teachings with our whole hearts, and committing our entire lives to him. Faith in Jesus is a personal relationship. It is about knowing Him intimately, experiencing His love, and walking with Him daily. It is like a friendship where trust and loyalty are foundational, but even more profound because it is a relationship with the Son of God. Consider what it means to trust someone. When we trust someone, we rely on them, depend on them, and have confidence in their character and abilities. Trusting Jesus means relying on Him in every aspect of our lives. It means believing that He is who He says He is the Son of God, the Savior of the world, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Moreover, faith in Jesus is transformative. It changes us from the inside out when we believe in Him. We are forgiven of our sins, made new in Christ, and empowered by the Holy Spirit to live a life that honors God. Our priorities, desires, and perspectives are shaped by our faith in Him. We no longer live for ourselves, but for the One who loved us and gave Himself for us. Jesus himself invites us to believe in him. In John 14 to 6, he declares, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is not a narrow-minded statement, but a profound truth. Jesus is the only way to God because he is God's provision for our salvation. Through his death and resurrection, he opened the way for us to be reconciled to God, to experience forgiveness and eternal life. Believing in Jesus is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey of growing in faith and deepening our relationship with Him. It involves surrendering our will to His, trusting His guidance, and obeying His word. It is a commitment to follow Him wholeheartedly no matter the cost. Brothers and sisters, if you have never placed your trust in Jesus Christ, I urge you to do so. Today, embrace His love, accept His forgiveness, 
and receive the gift of eternal life that he offers freely to all who believe. There is no greater decision you will ever make than to follow Jesus and experience the transforming power of his love. And for those who have already placed their faith in Jesus, let us continue to grow in our relationship with him. Let us deepen our trust, strengthen our commitment, and allow his love to overflow in our lives. May we be bold witnesses of his grace and truth, sharing the good news of salvation with everyone we meet. For the promise of eternal life should not perish, but have everlasting life. These words are a declaration of hope and promise a promise that through faith in Jesus Christ, we have the assurance of eternal life with God. This promise is not based on our own merit or goodness, but on the finished work of Jesus. On the cross, eternal life is more than just living forever. It is a quality of life, a life that is abundant, meaningful, and filled with the presence of God. It is a life free from the power of sin and death, characterized by joy, peace, and fulfillment in God's presence. Jesus himself promises in John 10.10, 10, I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. This abundant life begins the moment we place our faith in him and continues into eternity. It is a life of intimacy with God where we experience his love, his guidance, and his provision in every area of our lives. Moreover, eternal life means that death is not the end for believers. It is a doorway to everlasting fellowship with God, as Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15, 55, 57, where, O death, is your victory, where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sign, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This victory over sin and death is the culmination of God's redemptive plan for humanity. Through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, he conquered sin and defeated death once and for all. And through his resurrection, he secured eternal life for all who believe in him. Moreover, eternal life means that death is not the end for believers. It is a doorway to everlasting fellowship with God, as Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15, 55, 57, where, O death, is your victory, where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sign, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This victory over sin and death is the culmination of God's redemptive plan for humanity. Through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, he conquered sin and defeated death once and for all. And through his resurrection, he secured eternal life for all who believe in him. And let us share this hope with others, inviting them to experience the same assurance of salvation, and eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. May our lives be a testimony to the reality of God's promise and the transforming power of his love. Beloved brothers and sisters, as we conclude our reflection on John 3.16, let us take these truths to heart and allow them to transform our lives. Let us remember the depth of God's love for us, the greatness of his gift in Jesus Christ, the power of faith and belief, and the promise of eternal life that he offers. May these truths inspire us to live with gratitude, joy, and purpose, knowing that we are deeply loved by God and call to live in his love. May they strengthen our faith, deepen our 
relationship with Jesus Christ and empower us to share his love with everyone around us. And may we always remember the words of John 3.16 as a beacon of hope and truth in our lives. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Beloved brothers and sisters, as we conclude our reflection on John 3.16, let us take these truths to heart and allow them to transform our lives. Let us remember the depth of God's love for us, the greatness of his gift in Jesus Christ, the power of faith and belief, and the promise of eternal life that he offers. May these truths inspire us to live with gratitude, joy, and purpose, knowing that we are deeply loved by God and call to live in his love. May they strengthen our faith, deepen our relationship with Jesus Christ, and empower us to share his love with everyone around us. And may we always remember the words of John 3.16 as a beacon of hope, and truth in our lives. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your incredible love and the gift of your Son, Jesus. Christ, help us to live each day in the light of your love, trusting in your promises and sharing your gospel with the world, may your Holy Spirit guide us, empower us, and transform us into vessels of your grace and truth. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in Hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, Romans 15.13. Thank you, beloved brothers and sisters, for joining me in this journey through John 3.16. May you go forth in the love and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, sharing his love with a world in need. God bless you all.